Welcome to The Promise of Happiness, a guided meditation for healing, centeredness, and balance. Please find a comfortable position in a quiet space where you will not be bothered and simply relax into your breathing. These sutras that I will read to you are designed for you to listen to and listen beyond to get in touch with that innermost part of yourself. You can listen to a few sutras every day or listen to them as many of them as you would like. And if you get to the end, be free to return to these sutras at any time you feel unbalanced or conflicted. Let's begin. Part 1. Rising Above Thought The incessant mental noise of thinking prevents you from finding that realm of inner stillness that is inseparable from being. Listen to the voice in your head. Be there as the witnessing presence. When you listen to a thought, you are aware not only of the thought, but also of yourself as the witness of the thought. A new dimension of consciousness has come in. You can create a gap in the mind stream simply by directing the focus of your attention into the now become intensely conscious of this present moment. As you listen to the thought, you feel a conscious presence, your deeper self, behind or underneath the thought, as it were. This is the beginning of the end of involuntary and compulsive thinking. Present moment awareness creates a gap not only in the stream of mind, but also in the past-future continuum. Nothing truly new and creative can come into this world except through this gap, this clear space of infinite possibility. When you need to use your mind, and particularly when a creative solution is needed, Oscillate every few minutes or so between thought and stillness, between mind and no mind. Thinking is only a small aspect of consciousness. Thought cannot exist without consciousness, but consciousness does not need thought. Are you worried? Do you have many what-if thoughts? You are identified with your mind which is projecting itself into an imaginary future situation and creating fear. There is no way you can cope with such a situation because it does not exist. It is simply a mental phantom. If you were conscious, that is to say, totally present in the now, all negativity would dissolve almost instantaneously. It cannot survive in your presence. Feeling will get you closer to the truth of who you are than thinking. Part 2. A Portal to the Now Keep some of your attention within. Don't let it all flow out. Feel your whole body from within as a single field of energy. It is almost as if you were listening with your whole body. Let this be your practice in the days and weeks to come. Silence 
is a potent carrier of presence. When you hear this, be aware of the silence between and underneath the words. Be aware of the gaps to listen to the silence wherever you are is an easy and direct way of becoming present. Even during conversation, become conscious of the gaps between words, the brief silent intervals between sentences. As you do this, the dimension of stillness will grow within you. Pause for a few seconds to observe the flow of your breath. Become aware of a silent but powerful sense of presence within you. Each time you walk up and down, pay close attention to each and every step, every movement, even your breathing. Be totally present. Close your eyes and say to yourself, I wonder what my next thought will be. Then become very alert and wait for that thought. What is going on inside me at this moment? This question will point you in the right direction. No need to analyze. Just watch, focus your attention within, feel the energy of the emotion. If there is no emotion present, take your attention more deeply into your inner energy field. It is the doorway into being. Observe for a time the rhythm of your breathing, feel the air flowing in and flowing out. Feel the life energy inside of your body. Allow everything to be within and without. Allow the isness of all things. Simply take the focus of your attention away from thinking and direct it into the body where being can be felt as the invisible energy field that gives you life to what you perceive as the physical body. There is no need to give 100% of your attention to the external world and to your mind. Keep some within. Feel the inner body even when engaged in everyday activities, especially when engaged in relationships or when you are relating with nature. Feel the stillness deep inside it. Keep this portal open. Part 3. The Power of Now You can always cope with the now, but you will never be able to cope with the future, nor do you have to. The answer, the strength, the right action, the resource, will be there when you need it, not before, not after. In any situation, focus within and feel your inner body. You will immediately become still and present as you withdraw consciousness from the mind, and the answer or action will come up from a deeper level. If there is something that you should be doing, but are not doing, get up and do it now. Alternatively, completely accept your inactivity or passivity at this moment, if that is your choice. Realize deeply that the present moment is all that you will ever have. Make the now the primary focus of your life. Whereas before you dwelt in a time and paid brief visits to the now, have your dwelling place here and in the now, and pay brief visits to the past and the future when required to deal with the practical aspects 
of your life situations. See if you can catch yourself contemplating in either speech or thought about a situation you find yourself in, what other people do or say, your surroundings, your life situation, even the weather. To complain is always non-acceptance of what is. Ask yourself what problem you have right now, not next year, not tomorrow, not five minutes from now. What is wrong with this moment? Forget about your situation and pay attention to your life. Your life situation exists in time, but your life is now. Your life situation is of the mind. Your life is real. Break the old patterns of present moment denial and present moment resistance. Make it your practice to withdraw attention from the past and future wherever they are not needed. Step out of the time dimension as much as possible each and every day. Do not be concerned with the fruit of your action. Just give attention to the action itself. The fruit will come on its own accord. This is a powerful spiritual practice. Part 4 The Power of Being Present Observe how the mind labels an unpleasant moment and how through this labeling the continuous sitting in judgment creates pain and unhappiness. Wherever you are, be there fully and completely. If you find your here and now intolerable and it makes you unhappy, you have three choices. One. Remove yourself from the situation. Two, change the situation. Three, accept the situation totally. If you want to take responsibility for your life, you must choose one of these three options, and you must choose it now. Then, accept the consequences. Whenever you notice that some form of negativity has arisen within you, do not look on it as failure, but as a helpful signal that is telling you, Wake up! Get out of your mind! Become present! To relinquish your attachment to the past and to the future, consciously choose enlightenment and make the now the main focus of your life. Enlightenment means choosing to dwell in the state of presence rather than in time. It means saying yes to what is. Direct your attention inward. Have a look inside yourself. What kind of thought is your mind producing? What do you feel? Direct your attention into the body. Is there tension? Once you, that you detect that there is a low level of unease, the background static, see in what way you're avoiding or resisting or denying life by denying the ever-present now. Presence removes time. Without time, no suffering, no negativity can survive. Fully use your senses. Be where you are. Look around. Just look. Don't interpret. See the light, the shapes, the colors, the textures. Be aware of the silent presence of each thing. When you listen to the voice in your head, listen to it impartially. That is to say, do not judge it. You'll soon realize there is the voice, and here I am listening to it, watching it, the I am realization, 
The sense of your own powerful presence is not a thought, it arises from beyond the mind. Stay present and continue to observe what is happening inside you. Become aware not only of the emotional pain but also of the one who observes, the silent watcher. Monitor your mental emotional state through self-observation. Am I at ease at this moment is a good question to ask yourself frequently. Or you may ask, what's going on inside me at this particular moment? Part 5. The Joy of Being Always say yes to the present moment. Surrender to what is. Say yes to life and see how life suddenly starts working for you rather than against you. It's good news that you can free yourself from your mind. This is the only true liberation. You can take the first step right now. Start listening to the voice in your head as often as you can. When the compulsive striving away from the now ceases, the joy of being flows into everything that you do. The moment of your attention turns to the now. You feel a presence, a stillness, a peace. Become aware of the space that allows everything to be. Listen to the sounds. Listen to the silence underneath the sounds. Touch something, anything and feel and acknowledge its being. Give up on waiting as a state of mind. When you catch yourself slipping into waiting, snap out of it. Come into the present moment. Just be and enjoy being. If you are present, there is never any need for you to wait for anything. The moment that judgment stops through acceptance of what is, you are free. The key is to be in a state of permanent connectedness with your inner body, to feel it at all times. This will rapidly deepen and transform your life. The more consciousness you direct to the inner body, the higher its vibrational frequency becomes. Through forgiveness, which essentially means recognizing the insubstantiality of the past and allowing the present moment to be as it is, the miracle of transformation happens not only within, but also without.